Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to remove the bar studs on your smaller steel chainsaws. Specifically today I'll be removing the bar studs on a steel MS-230 or 250. And on these saws there's going to be two studs. What I have in my vise here is the actual part from an MS-250. It's the identical part as the 230s I just showed you. And I noticed the studs are still on so it's a good opportunity for me to show you how to remove them from this part here. First of all, obviously you would have to remove the bar and chain, so just remove the two nuts over here. The cover is going to come off and then you can just remove the bar and chain. Now if you don't plan on reusing your bar studs, the easiest way sometimes is just to use a pair of vice grips. And all I'm going to do is clamp the vice grips on the stud. Now if you don't plan on reusing the stud, you can put your vice grips on the threads, it doesn't matter. And you can also use a wider pair of vice grips. So I'll have to tighten them up a bit more. And there you can see the stud is actually turning. I'm going to save these studs, so I'm going to be careful. And the threads are very coarse because all it does is screws into plastic. And here's what your bar stud's going to look like. Now another method is to screw on the two bar nuts. I'm going to put the first one right to the bottom and I'm going to put the second one on top. And now with a 19 millimeter or three quarter wrench you can hold the bottom nut and tighten up the top one. And now you want to grab on the bottom nut and unscrew it. This is actually easier. And now to remove the two nuts, I'm just going to repeat the process but in reverse. Now if the bottom nut doesn't want to come off, just put some vice grips on the collar. And it makes it a lot easier to get it off. And by removing the studs with the two nuts, there's a lot less damage on the stud. Here you can see the vice grip marks on this one and the other one is nice and clean. And now I'm going to show you how to reinstall the bar studs and I'm going to use the two nut method to do that. One quick tip when you reinstall them you could use some blue Loctite just to make sure that they don't come loose again. I'm just going to screw on the two nuts and then I usually put on a bit of blue Loctite I just put it on the threads going into the plastic case but since this is a part saw today I'm not going to use any Loctite now you can start it off by hand and then with your 19 millimeter wrench you can just tighten it up. And basically you just want to tighten up the stud here until the collar becomes flush with the plastic case. And I don't know the exact torque but just use common sense. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video will help you in your next repair. Make sure to subscribe and like my videos and you can see me next time. Have a great day.